Hello everybody and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, in the last episode, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it, we attended Herbology and Potions class. So, we unlocked the ability to craft the Wiganweld potion, which is a healing potion. So, <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get into today's objective then. Um, today, I think we are going to meet with Natty. She sent us an owl post. Uh, and she's asked us to meet her at a hamlet called Lower Hogsfield, just south of Hogwarts. I should see what she wants. So, let's do that. It'll be fun to explore a bit outside the castle. <laughs> Uh, cause we haven't... <laughs> we haven't actually been much, um, outside. Um, we don't have our broom yet either, or a mount, so... I'm really looking forward to unlocking that aspect. Last and exploring... The the patch in the greenhouse. Uh, the, um, outskirts of Hogwarts more. I think that could be really cool. The game does look amazing and it is so well designed. So I'm really looking forward to just seeing what else it has to offer except Hogwarts. Obviously Hogwarts in itself is amazing and I could literally waste hours upon hours of my life in there. <laughs> um, but I think the outskirts and hamlets as well could be quite interesting. This Kind of looks a bit like Hagr Hagrid's fort. Beasts classroom. Hmm. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Actually, I'm most pleased to be included. It kind of does look a bit like Hagrid's house. Avelio. Level two lock. Hmm. Ha we should try and um, unlock a way to uh, use a lower more. Oh. Sorry about that. Because, you know, we can't actually open any doors yet, so I'm, I'm not actually sure how we do that. I'm assuming it is just by uh, progressing in the main story. By the way, I haven't shown this, but this is the Quidditch pitch. If you didn't know... Um, there, I'm just going to pick some of these up. I'm assuming we need them. There is no Quidditch in the game that I know of at least. I think they have confirmed that it will not be a feature, at least for now. Um, and more than that I don't know, but the Quidditch pitch is there. So I'm thinking that we should definitely check that out at some point. But for now, stick to where the game is kind of leading us. The castle looks great. <laughs> from outside and the detail on, on the outskirts as well is amazing they've really really nailed the the design and the feel of the game that looks so great it's everything that I imagined it would be um, I know a lot of people were wondering what the castle would look like upon launch and before launch honestly i couldn't be happier this is amazing and it's so fun to see that they've put so much care into designing it now i'm not um the most adept on Harry Potter lore. Um, I know some bits and bobs. I'm obviously a fan of the Harry Potter series. I've grown up in England uh, with it around me. So I do know a bit, but I'm not, um, I don't know everything. So if there is something that I'm missing, um, and something that you know I haven't commented on because I didn't know better um, be sure to just let me know uh, <laughs> it does help and I am very interested in learning all there is to learn 
Because I'm assuming there's a lot of Easter eggs and hidden details that you can find. So I'm interested in figuring that out, trying to find those uh, hidden details. Because that would actually be quite fun that aspect of the game. I do love a little easter egg and I know a lot of other people do as well. So so far I am blown away. It really does look amazing and the castle looks great from here. Now I think it was a developer that said in a stream at some point that anywhere you can look is a place you can go. So I'm really looking forward to getting the mounts and the broom so that we can really just fly around. I mean, there must be so much to explore. Really looking forward to uh, what's in store for us. So if that um, little house back there wasn't Hagrid's hut, this definitely is. <laughs> I guess maybe there's a chest inside there that we can't get to quite yet. I'm assuming that we need the Alohomora spell. Oh! I take it back. We did in fact not. This is cool. Let's get this uh, field guide page. Groundskeeper's tools. Okay, so this is actually the groundskeeper's hut. So I guess this would be where Hagrid uh, lived in the future I guess. One might summarise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cosy hut as large as the occupant may need. <laughs> That's really really cool. I'm glad they added that actually. Nice to get some gold. We will be needing that. Aww. Oh a little sheep. So cute. This looks intriguing. Yes, it really, really does. <laughs> it does look amazing. So far. I'm really looking to, forward to exploring the dark forest as well. I think that that could be really, really cool. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. So let's talk to Natsai. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I can't say. I don't really want to tell her just yet. Um, I know we told Sebastian, but we're in the same house and I feel like I can trust Sebastian more, so I'm not going to tell Natsai quite yet. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but... Perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? 
I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I've Great. always said that travel broadens the I mind. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Hmm. Let's go and check that out. Help the stranger, it says. A woman needs help just across the water beyond the dock. Okay. Let's go and see if we can help her out. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to- Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. Um, target. What are you doing? <laughs> well, that was fairly easy. Uh oh, I take it back. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Ashwind a duelist. Uh oh. The collection, the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Okay. Oh, okay. You'll take this student on the last day, buddy! Come on, just keep your friends! Okay, that's an undodgeable. Child! Tell them to find you himself. Okay, I guess I need to control dodge that. Um, I'm kind of locked on. You're easier to spot than an eruptor. How embarrassing! I am about to die. <laughs> but I am like locked onto this enemy here. Okay, well, she's, I'm sorry if I get in animation. Like I kind of just got a bit locked. I got a bit locked onto the what enemy. I couldn't figure out I've how to. Uh, in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. I couldn't figure out how Rebellion. to not get locked uh so i'm sorry about that uh what's this leech juice i'm assuming that that's um needed for some potion of some sort are you all right I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. It was Priya. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Research? How interesting. You're a researcher? 
Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. <laughs> Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Hmm. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sure. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. How intriguing. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Hmm, interesting. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! Hmm, what should I do now? Revelia, hmm. this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Hmm. Incendio, Merlin's beard! Hmm, the actually worked. <laughs> make the pyre sink. Okay, there are more, so... Let's do Incendio on all of them. The pyres are back where they started. Hmm. Okay. Let me open. I mean, I think you just heard. I think it's just trial and error. Incendio. Hmm. Maybe I have to do them in a particular order. Hardly believe it. <laughs> I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. That was quite and an interesting episode. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. That's quite cool. It's very pretty. Quest complete, Charles of Merlin. 
Complete Merlin trials to increase gear capacity. Okay. Not bad. Let's see, did we actually unlock anything here? I don't think we did. We should probably also at some point... Oh, actually. Now that is an interesting hat. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, take that off um did give us a fair bit of armor though i think we are wearing the best stuff that we can wear greetings young slytherin <laughs> scrope knows about the old book you found for professor fig scrope can help you and you can help scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum if you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. How interesting. I think with that, I'm going to end today's episode here. We have actually killed our first um, human enemies, if you will. Um, which was quite interesting. Uh, really got a feel for the combat. Uh, and we have solved a trial of Merlin. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, uh, remember to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Uh, also, be sure to let me know if there's anything that you want to see or um, anything that I'm missing or that you want me to cover. So, without further ado, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.